The Void app allows you to reverse or cancel a transaction, reverse the financials, which could include returning money to the customer, and roll back the dates of the transaction as if it never happened. In this video, we'll examine the four most commonly encountered voids. Let's assume you've just completed the check-in process for a walk-in customer, taken payment, and given them a room key, but for some reason the guest has to leave and wants a refund. From the home screen, click the Transaction Search button. Alternatively, you may find the Transaction Search button on the navigation bar. The Transaction Search screen shows today's transactions by default. Simply locate the transaction and select it by clicking in the data grid. Then click Void on the toolbar. In the Void screen, verify all data and provide a reason for the void. We'll say this guest had a family emergency. Click Complete Void on the action bar and OK to verify. In the description column of the transaction search screen, notice the capital letter V in the description. This is an indication that the transaction has been voided. Upon returning to the room search screen, now you'll see that the room is available once again. Now let's assume our guest, who has a reservation, was checked in by mistake. In this case, the transaction needs to be reversed, taking it from a check-in and rolling it back to an active reservation. The void procedure is the same. Verify the data and provide a reason for the void. Upon refreshing the room search screen, you'll see that the guest no longer occupies the room and the reservation is once again active. In this example, let's assume that our guest was inadvertently checked out of room 105. At the moment, the room appears available, but it actually isn't. We need to void this transaction so that the room rolls back to an occupied status. Again, the void procedure is the same as before. Once the void is complete, refresh the room search screen and you'll see that the room now shows as occupied. In this last example, let's assume that our guest was renewed by mistake. Looking at his renew date in the data grid, it says his renew date is August 19th. Now, clicking the transaction search button in the toolbar and examining this transaction, we see a capital letter R in the description tab, which indicates that this transaction was, in fact, a renewal. And again, we'll assume that this renewal was a mistake. We need to void this transaction, refund any payments taken, and roll back the stay dates associated with this guest's folio. The void procedure again is no different. Afterwards, when you examine the transaction, notice a capital letter V now precedes the description, meaning it was successfully voided. And when you return to the room search screen, notice that the renew date has rolled back to its original date. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about voids.